What is Holy Communion? Holy Communion is the receiving of Jesus Christ in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. According to John chapter 6, verse 57, He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. to receive Holy Communion rhythm. To receive Holy Communion rhythms, it is necessary to be free from mortal sin, to have a right intention, and to obey the Church's laws on the past required for Holy Communion, out of reverence for the body and blood of our Divine Lord. However, there are some cases in which Holy Communion may be received without fasting. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 27, Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks of the cup of the Lord unworthily will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. Thus, he who knowingly receives holy communion in mortal sin receives the body and blood of Christ in his graces. He who knowingly receives holy communion mortal sin receives the body and blood of Christ, but he does not receive his grace he commits a great sin of sacrilege. What should we do to receive more abundantly the graces of Holy Communion? To receive more abundantly the graces of Holy Communion, we should strive to be most fervent and to free ourselves in delivering venial sin. Does the Church now command us to fast from midnight before Holy Communion? The Church does not now command us to fast from midnight before Holy Communion, as it did formerly. The laws enacted by Pope Pius XII now regulate this matter by the number of hours we must fast. May Holy Communion be received without fasting? Holy Communion may be received without fasting when one is in danger of death, or when it is necessary to receive the Blessed Sacrament from insult or injury. How should we prepare ourselves for Holy Communion? We should prepare ourselves for Holy Communion by thinking of our Divine Redeemer whom we are about to receive, and by making fervent acts of faith, hope, love, and contrition. According to Matthew chapter 8, verse 8, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof. What should we do after Holy Communion? After Holy Communion, we should spend some time adoring our Lord, thanking Him, renewing our promises of love and of obedience to Him and asking Him for blessings for ourselves and others.